Hi friends, thanks for joining me for another episode of Wild Wonders. My name is Summer Swallow. I'm an environmental educator at Pepperwood Preserve located in Santa Rosa, California. We are a nonprofit organization dedicated to conservation, research, and education. Our 3,200 acre nature preserve is a living laboratory and home to over 900 species of plants and animals. Today we're going to explore California's state tree, the Coast Redwood. These trees are famous for being the tallest living things on the planet. They can grow over 300 feet tall. That's longer than a football field. Or like parking nine school buses end to end. But you ready to hear an even bigger number? Their age. The oldest known redwood is over 2,000 years old. But they are only found in a narrow strip along the Pacific coast, from Central California up into Southern Oregon. So they're very special trees for a lot of different reasons. And if you've ever had the opportunity to walk amongst redwoods, then you know what I'm talking about when I say they're special. And if you haven't yet got to see redwoods in real life, then come along today with me as we explore some young trees near my home and we investigate how do they get so tall and live so long. Let's start here at the trunk. What do you notice about this bark? I notice it looks sort of fuzzy and it's not smooth. Others have told me it reminds them of braided hair or a river. What does the bark remind you of? You may have noticed these are fairly young trees, but on a mature redwood, the bark can be 12 inches thick and that makes for a big protective shield against wildfires. They also have a chemical called tannins, which is helpful because it's a natural flame retardant. Redwoods also don't have much resin, which is highly flammable. So the combination of thick bark, tannins, and little resin help protect our friends here from wildfires, disease, fungi, and insects. This strategy can help redwoods have a nice long life and reach those towering heights. So here I have some redwood needles. What do you notice? And why do these look different from each other? Well, I'll tell you, they live in different spots on the tree. These ones live closer to the ground where it's shady and cool where I'm standing, but these ones live way up above my head near the tops of the trees. And way up there, it's very different conditions. There's a lot more sun and wind, so they have a different shape in order to prevent losing water. But that's not all these needles do. They help the tree collect water. Because redwoods live in what's known as the fog belt, these needles are able to grab the fog water and they actually help bring that water down to the ground and keep the whole area more humid which benefits all the other plants and animals that live in the forest. So now that we're back on the ground, redwoods have a great strategy with their root system. You might think being the tallest trees in the world, they have a really deep root, but they don't. Their roots only go about 12 feet deep, but they spread out really far, like 60 to 100 feet out. And they do a really neat thing in that they intertwine their roots underground, kind of like linking arms with a friend. And this helps keep them stable in the soil so when there's a big wind event, they don't fall over as easily. So redwood trees are pretty amazing. And there's a lot more neat facts about these friends. So I encourage you, the next time you see a redwood tree, Give it a hug. Stop for a moment and say hello. And I'd like to also thank you for joining me today for another episode of Wild Wonders. I hope you had some fun and I hope you'll join us again next time. In the meantime, remember to take care of yourself and stay tuned into nature.